Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this beautiful hummus platter, and I like to call it an abundanza platter. Three kinds of hummus and a wonderful chicken pesto salad. A lot of it you can just get to go, and it's a little bit of assembly, but you can make a couple of homemade pieces also. I'm in the kitchen today with Blue Moose having a lot of fun and showing you the way to pull together a really spectacular platter. Get all of your crudité together, sort of whatever you like. This is some of my favorites, and I want to have something that's going to hold up to the body of the hummus. Although I like to think of this as no cook, there's something about just broiling these up a bit. It just adds a certain specialness to the dish. I cannot wait to show you where we go with this. So we've got the everyday roast chicken breast, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull it apart, and it's going to be super easy because I'm going to take the pesto, and I'm just going to add it, and it's really like a two-minute chicken salad, and you can also just buy a rotisserie chicken. So I've got a couple cups of that chicken, and then I'm going to do nearly a quarter cup. I'm going to see what I need. What I love is that it's just easy, just ready to go. You've added this, stirred it, and you're going to come up with a wonderful chicken salad. I'm having quite a group, so I'm going to put a lot of hummus in here. And what I like about these 8-ounce containers is you can just really keep them fresh and then open another one rather than the giant packages. I like to tuck things in where I think they look pretty, and I don't think you should overthink it. So green over here, and then some beautiful orange carrots. If I could have found babies with the stems, I would have. You can see I've added the asparagus and the salami. Really easy to do. And I've got this wonderful feta cheese that I put some pesto on top. To arrange it prettily. I love jicama, so I've added that. And then I want to cut the cucumbers a little differently than everything else. And I'm going to add yellow pepper here. I'm just going to stick some olives in there. I love these baby Nishwa olives. And then if you can get watermelon radishes, they just make everything look divine. I'm going to garnish this with a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to stick some more of these beautiful radishes down on the other end. Just tuck them in wherever they kind of make you happy to use. I'm going to stick some chips right there, and then I'm going to add another one of these vines of tomatoes, which are so pretty and delicious. Now, you don't need to add strawberries, but I like to add things that are in season, and then I'm going to decorate this with a little bit of black sesame seeds. I like always to get seasonal ingredients finished product and how much fun is this? Half the fun is just making it. It's kind of like an art project when you were a little kid. I just adore doing these. It's sort of like an entree salad, but three-dimensional.